everyone, this is Scott Leroy of Scott Leroy Marketing coming in for another weekly tip. And today's tip is actually going to be about how you can set up an open house sign-in sheet from a landing page, but more importantly, how we can then automate those leads that are coming in from that open house sign-in sheet to one, automatically add to the contact section, tag them, and then more importantly, put them on a smart plan. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to sign into our command account like we are right now. And over here on the left-hand side, we're gonna click on consumer at the bottom left. All right, so we're gonna click on consumer on here. Now there are a few different ways to do this. I'm gonna do it as a landing page though, because it's the way that I prefer so I can highlight the listing. So if you look at your landing pages, you'll have all the different options available for you. But at the top right, I'm going to create a new page. All right, so we're going to click on Create New Page at the top right up here. Now, once we click on Create New Page, we can either make a new page on our website or, in this case, as a landing page. So I'm going to do it as a landing page and then click Create Page on here. Yeah. All right. Now, up to you, you can name this whatever you like to. Typically, I may suggest maybe naming it the, the name of that particular listing or that open house. So maybe I'm going to have the open house uh, this coming Saturday. So I'm gonna do it on the 22nd. So I'll put open house four slash 22. All right, and then completely up to you as to how you want this to display for your sign-in sheet. At the bare minimum, you'll need a lead form on here. All right, so at the bare minimum, you'll need this. So that way, when they sign in, it'll automatically add those contacts over to your contact section inside command. Now, what I like to do, though, is I like to put inside a branded header at the top. So I'm going to drag this over. And then below the lead form, I usually like to put the listing on here as well, too. And the reason I like to put the listing is just in case someone finds our open house by driving past it. Maybe it wasn't on their open house you know, route for that day. This will give them a little bit of a chance to see a little more information on that property before they take a further step inside that actual open house. All right, so once we have these three items set up, if you notice we can't publish it quite yet, we need to go through and configure our widgets. So let's click that configure widgets option at the bottom down here. Bottom right over here. And the only thing we have to configure is this listing section. As you notice, it doesn't have a check mark in here that's green, but I'm going to go through all these as well, too. All right, so we can update our branded header if we want to. Maybe I'm going to say, welcome to our open house. All right, we have 30 characters to work with, so that's 26 right there, including all the spaces and that exclamation point. I'll click Save and Apply so we can have that right up here. And of course, if you're not on a team or, you know, not working with a partner, you can change R to my, obviously. All right, for the form header text, instead of interested, let's talk, I'm going to say, please sign in below. All right, and then once again, save and apply, so that way they'll know to sign in right away. And then, of course, for the listing, this is where we can actually add inside our listing. Now, we can search by the property address. We can search on here by the MLS number, by the KDLS ID, whatever it may be. So for the time being, I'm just gonna say that, you know, geez, this is my listing on here. All right, so I'm just gonna use this one as an example. And then of course you can obviously go through and change what that first image is going to be, but I'm just gonna use the main one that'll pop up. Typically that's the external photo of the property. So that's perfect to start with. And once again, the main focus on this is just to allow them to see, hey, here's how much the price is for the home. Here's some basic information on it. Here's some other info if they wanna see it before they actually take a further step inside the home, just to help them out. All right, so now that I've saved my listing, I can now publish this page. So I'm gonna publish that page. And I'll say, are you sure you wanna update an active page? I'm gonna say yes. All right, so now we have our landing page active. So if we look on here, this is gonna be our open house. And I'll say open house 422, that's just what I named it right now, just to know, hey, this is the open house that's occurring on April 22nd. And then one thing you can do is you can actually change the end of this URL. 
So the URL is always going to start with pages.k2b.com slash your name slash in this case, like I believe the K2B UID, I'll need to double check on that. But those six digits will always remain the same. But then you can change this portion on here. So if we click the little three dots on the right hand side, I can change this URL. So if I wanted to, I could change this to open dash house dash sign dash in. I think I may already have that set up as another one on here. So I'm just going to put dash or sorry, open dash house. And I'll create this real quick. Oh, it's already being used. Okay. So I'll put lead form. Yeah, I've got open house signing on here already. All right, now as long as you have this on here where it is green, not where it's over on the left hand side and it is white, but where it's actually green, that means that this landing page is active to use. Now this is where it gets a little bit fun. All right, because what we can actually do now is go over to our smart plans. And if you don't have a smart plan set up that you want your leads from any you know landing page to go on to, you can set this up right now. Now this is why I say it gets a little bit fun because if we go under the library section of our smart plan, there are a plethora of smart plans that you could use. All right, countless smart plans that are available on here. I'm just looking personally over here at the Keller Williams smart plan because there is an open house follow-up on here. Now if you notice, there are a bunch of different smart plan options, but there is an open house follow-up option. So if you want to, you can add that smart plan all right, make it active. It'll show you what other steps or what other smart plans you need to add in. So I've got everything already set up on here, but if you don't, you can just click the download option on here and obviously make sure these are downloaded too. And the reason I like to use this, because this is the one that was built by KWRI. All right, so this is coming from the corporate location directly to use on here. Now, the reason I said this is where it gets a little bit fun is because this is going to add any new lead from your landing page to the smart plan. So if you have other landing pages, like as you can see on here, I have other landing pages that are active, right? It'll add any of those new leads over to that smart plan. So you definitely want to make sure that whenever this is going on, that it's just for that open house. Maybe I want to deactivate these other smart plans. Of course, if you're running ads with them, you want to leave them active, but I just want to give you a heads up on that. Right, but we have our smart plan now downloaded and the final thing we'll do is under our name at the top right we'll click on settings on here right, and once we click on settings on the left hand side we're going to go to command settings contacts lead management All right so command settings contacts lead management now this is where you can create a rule that once a new lead comes in under a specific type, specific location, however it may come through, that it'll automatically tag or add them to a specific smart plan. So if you notice on here, I have my open house follow-up set up that any lead that comes in from a KDB landing page will auto add the tag of open house and then add them to that open house follow-up. So in order to do this, we'll just click the create rule option. You can name it whatever you want to. So maybe I'll name this as 4 slash 22 open house sign in. Man, typing is hard today. There we go. <laughs> all right. Which lead source is this rule for? So we can select all of them. I don't want to do that one, though, unless we want literally every lead to be tagged or added to a specific smart plan. But on here, then I can go through and see the different ways that these leads are coming over and one that we have on here all right is that kw landing page so if you see we have a plethora of different lead options but we have kw landing page on here so i'm going to add this in and then of course you can add inside the tag on here if you want to it could be any tag that you've created so i'll do open house and then i can add them to my smart plan so in this case I can add them over to my open house follow-up smart plan that Kid Your Eyes created. Now, once again, you can add them to any smart plan that you want to, all right, that you have downloaded, but this is just the one I'm going to use because it's meant for this exact purpose. And once I create that rule, so I'll click create rule down here. 
then whenever someone signs in under that landing page, all right, then it'll automatically add the tag of open house and put them on that my open house follow up. So before your contact or before your potential lead even leaves your open house, they're automatically in your database and they're going to start to receive information from you too. All right, and all you'd have to do now at the open house, if you have a tablet or a laptop out, is just open up that URL on here for the landing page and allow your contacts or your new potential contacts, anyone that's coming into the open house, I guess open house visitors is probably a better way of explaining it, to sign in and it'll automatically add over to your contact section, tag them and put them on that smart plan right away. So that's a great way to allow the system to work for you so you're working smarter, not harder. So there you go. So that is your KDB command tip for the day.